It is 640 on a Tuesday morning. I'm hoping when Labor Day gets here, temperatures will be a, just a tad cooler. Yeah, tad a tad. A tad. Not, not a whole <laughs> lot, but a tad. Yes. We'll so, take what we can get at that point. <laughs> we'll, we'll cool down to a chilly 90 degrees outside. How about that? I'll take it. Better than 100. Be, uh, this is true. And, and today we're going to get close to that <laughs> here in central Georgia. 99 is what I'm going with for the high temperature. Here's a live look over downtown. The sun coming up on a Tuesday morning. 74 is our current temperature. Winds out of the west at about three miles an hour. 77 waking up in Wilkinson County this morning, as well as Baldwin and Hancock County. 75 in Sandersville. 74 in Wrightsville. 77 in Roberta. 78 in Butler. And 75 in Montezuma. Across the southeast, a relatively more warm morning by August standards. A couple scattered showers down along the Georgia coast and a whole lot of rain down into the Gulf of Mexico. That is Tropical Storm Harold, which is beginning to come ashore in the United States. Let's check out what's going on in central Georgia in terms of the heat, a heat advisory for us, but an excessive heat warning from Dallas through Jackson, Mississippi, and then all the way to the north, Minnesota, Wisconsin, and parts of South Dakota included within that. For us, a heat advisory for feels like temperatures between 104 and 109 through the afternoon hours that kicks in at 11 a.m. and lasts until about 10 p.m. tonight. Future view showing a very quick warm up mid 90s by the noon hour. The latest run does still have us touching 100 and making. I kept our high right around 99 because generally speaking, our high temperatures have not been getting as hot as what this model has been showing. And then into the night tonight, a very slim 10% chance of rain. The latest run has us cooling only into the upper 80s and the, or the lower 80s. That is and for tomorrow, right back into the 90s. And by the time we get to Thursday, how about starting off in the mid 60s? That would be nice. I don't think we're going to get that cool, though. I kept this in the upper 60s and low 70s before we're back into the 90s for Thursday afternoon. The story today, though, going to be the heat feeling like 100 plus beginning around 11 a.m. Lasting through the entire afternoon, still hanging on to 104 by 7 p.m. So certainly a day you don't want to spend too much time outside unless you have to. Into the weekend, there's Friday. It's dry across central Georgia and only a slim 10% chance of rain. Something similar for Saturday, and then I think we pick up the rain chances really beginning on Sunday. That's going to carry forward into Monday as well as we get into next week. Tropical Storm Franklin, it had been moving toward the west over the past several days. Well, now it's beginning that northward turn with winds at about 50 miles an hour. The plan is for it to cross Hispaniola, the Dominican Republic, before it makes another eastward turn and then turns back towards the northwest through the weekend as a Category 1 hurricane. So it's going to be lingering off the coast of the United States, it looks like, for at least a couple of days. Remains to be seen what happens with that one. Oh, all in all, I'm not too concerned about it. Tropical storm Harold winds of 45 moving west northwest at 18. Harold is going to make landfall near the Brownsville, Texas area today and then dissipate over the Rio Grande Valley. Back here in central Georgia looking for a high of 99 today, 98 tomorrow, 95 for Thursday. Low rain chances all week. How about downright hot temperatures for Friday and Saturday? 101 and 102, of course, it means it's going to feel a whole lot hotter than that.